You ready? Sonia. Sweet. What's going on guys, my name is Caleb and you are watching Built Official. We've been working on this little side-by-side -side for my children. It was a Power Wheels at one point in time. We have strayed far from that. Uh, it broke, so we decided to build a tube chassis for it and put an engine in it. Last week we got it running, got all the suspension working and got to test drive it uh, with my son, which was pretty awesome, but we still have a lot of work to do until it's finished, but we are gonna be finishing it in this video. So we had two goals to accomplish with this roll cage. One, we needed it to be safe in the event of a rollover. We're getting there. Two, we needed to be removable in order to be able to get the body off so we could work on individual parts when and uh, if they break. So we've got basically three parts to this thing now. We've got our chassis that we built underneath, we've got the body that goes on top of that, and then we've got the roll cage that slots on top of that using these uh, special mounts that we made. Now we are gonna secure these later on, but we need to make sure that this theory would work before we moved any further on. So we've got a lot of stuff to do before we finish this thing, including paint. We've got to get seat belts in. I've got racing harnesses, which means a harness bar. We've got to get throttle linkage. We've got to get brakes done. We've got to get pedals done. And we've got a lot of work to get done. And we were doing it all in this video. And then we will show it to my children, my five-year-old and my three-year-old, and let them take it for a test drive for real this time uh, out in the yard and see what this thing can do and see how long it'll last before they break something. Got a lot of work to do this one. It's going to be a jam-packed episode. So... Uh, uh, we don't have any time to waste. Uh, let's get to it. I've been problem solving. Uh, I think I've got a solution for the throttle. So we've got this throttle cable from a lawnmower here. It runs underneath the frame and up to this pedal. Um, on the pedal, okay, it's still a little hot. Let's put a glove on. Our mount right there. Okay. So I uh, want my kids to be safe, but also part of this whole build is, is being able to build something for my kids that they can get in and ride in and I don't have to do nearly as much work as I was doing with the Power Wheels. So I got them these special buckles. Um, they're like for a racing go-kart, I think, but everything is easy to clasp. You got like the actual seatbelt style clasps and it should be very simple for them to figure out and learn how to work. And the reason we made this bar was yeah, to hold our seat, but also it's going to be where our seat belts mount. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, so the last time you guys saw this thing, we were mounting the tires. I've done some fabrication since then, kind of boring stuff, but all very necessary. First, we put our master cylinder on. I'm gonna have to get different fittings because the ones I got didn't work, but we went ahead and built our hard line all the way to the back, so we won't have brakes for this test drive, but we will have them eventually. Um, next, I braced my steering because it was flexing a little bit when you would steer, so that's fixed. Um, we built in some seat belt holes so we can bolt our seat belts down. Uh, which is good, safety third. So I ordered a muffler for like a mini bike or something and then built this one and a half inch exhaust. It's crude, but it works and it's actually pretty quiet, which is nice. Uh, and then finally, we had to make some more clearance for our chain, so I cut a section out of the frame and put some angle there just to clear that out. Now, I think that that means we are ready for the first like real test drive with pedals. I just hope it works. <laughs> Thank you. 
Too much juice. So I went home, got some sleep, feeling much better. Yesterday I was working off of very little sleep. Today I'm working off of a full night, which is awesome. So I was able to think a little more clearly. And our biggest issue yesterday, well, one of the three, was our chain. So our chain kept coming off. As soon as you'd hit speed, it'd come off. Well, there was a few things that were contributing to that, but mostly the sprocket uh, from the engine and the sprocket on the axle weren't lined up perfectly. So I went to Lowe's, got some shims, got some washers and some like little metal sleeves to space it perfectly and I could kind of dial it in. Spent the morning dialing that in. I think it's good to go now. Our throttle cable broke, ordered a new one that's an actual go-kart throttle cable. This one was for a lawnmower. We'll replace that with a real go-kart cable, hopefully tomorrow if it comes in. And then I also did some sta steering stabilization. Our steering was kind of like uh, flexing and that was causing the wheels to kind of lock up, not spin, not turn all the way to the right. And so we fixed that so we should be able to steer this thing. So with all that stuff done, I think I can take it for an actual test drive and we shouldn't have any issues, hopefully. And if that's the case, then we can finally put this thing back together. All right, so from the very beginning, I knew that I wanted to paint this thing a really crazy color and it got flame blue. Now flame blue is the same color as my Titan. If you guys have watched the channel, you will recognize this color. It's like a bright blue metallic color. Very, very cool. And uh, I think it looks awesome. Now the downside to painting something like this with automotive paint is automotive paint's pretty picky. So we did get a lot of like fish eyes and just weirdness uh, in this thing because I didn't use like a plastic primer or whatever. But I didn't really pay a ton of attention to this because I know that my five-year-old is going to be driving it and he's pretty hard on stuff. Uh, so for what it is, I think it came out really, really great. I think it's going to look awesome against the red. So before we can throw this thing on, you'll notice the headlights are missing and the reflectors in the rear are missing. So we've got to throw those in. But before we do that, let me show you what I did with the reflectors. This is the old reflector that was like the tail light for the power wheels. It didn't work. It was just, well, it was just a reflector. And I wanted to make this a little more custom and I wanted this to be like my son's version of one of his own cars, like all of my cars. So I got I got tail lights that literally match the ones that are going on the MG, the Mirage style circle tail lights, and they're almost the exact same size. And I was actually able to use the housing from the uh, Power Wheels. So this housing was connected to this. We got rid of that, glued the light in, and now we have an LED running light that screws into the stock location and has a little Mirage effect in there. It's going to look really, really rad and be so much cooler than this thing. Let's put these in first, and then we can throw the headlights in, and then we can put it all together. So we got one more thing to do before we can install the body and that is floor pans. We had to cut the floor of the body out so it could come on and off of the chassis and this is that trunk floor pan that I had to make for the MG. That'll give the kids something to put their feet on while they're driving around and it'll keep rocks and stuff from kicking up uh, into like the cab area. You wanted it blue? Yeah. 
That's great. And I want to get it back. Check well, these I out. Want to make a flag on it. Check these out. Is that cool? Do y'all want to sit in it? Yeah. Let me put it on the ground and I'll let you sit in it, okay? And I want to try to drive it because it's kind of Well, we can't drive it right now because Daddy's doing the wiring. And then I'm going to bring it to our house and we'll drive it at our house. Steering. So listen, there's a few things Daddy still has to fix, okay? Two things. One, it will go, look, it will go too fast right now, okay? If it starts going too fast, what do you do? Press the brake. Yep, take that foot off the gas, all right? The other thing is, if you turn it too sharp, it, the steering will get stuck, okay? So you can't turn real sharp. Just turn a little bit, okay? That's why we're out here in the big field. Okay. Okay, so hop in and practice steering it. It's going to be easier to steer while it's moving. So we're going to go, I want to go over there by Daddy's trailer, okay? So steer to Daddy's trailer over there. Okay. You got it? Yep. Okay, so there's a secret. Do you want to see what the secret is? Come over here. Am I going on the other side? You can stay right there. All right, hit that switch right there. What switch? The switch that used to turn it on. <laughs> he doesn't see it. Oh! <laughs> Do you know? Look right here. Oh, you yeah. got real tail lights. Can I turn that off so I don't waste the battery? <laughs> yeah, you can. All right. Put your peggle key to That's, That's right. right. Wait, wait. All right, so look. Which one's gas? This one? Nope. Yep, and look, I just want you to use this foot, okay? I'm probably gonna move this pedal over so you can drive with both feet, just this one. So if you have to stop, put off on the brake. Push that brake down, make sure you not push down. Yeah, like that, just like that, okay? So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna practice. You're gonna give it a little bit of gas and get it rolling, and then hit the brake. When I say stop, hit the brake, okay? okay. That's the practice. Go. You ready? Get out of the way, mommy. You won't crash into me. Hands up. Get it. Yeah, good job. All right, do it again. Take it go a little bit. Hands up. <laughs> All right. You're okay, baby. It's okay. Okay, baby. Get it going and just make it go kind of slow. Try to hold that speed kind of slow. Get it right here. Too. We can drive down the lake one. Yeah, we should take it on a racetrack. What do you think about that? I give it 
Foggy thumbs up. Show me thumbs ups. Yeah. Is that 40? How much was that? 40. Is Daddy the coolest? I give him... Daddy's the greatest daddy ever? Thumbs I give up. him 100 thumbs up. You get Daddy 100 thumbs up? Yes. We'll all go. Do I get any thumbs ups? Mm, I give you one thumbs up. One thumbs up? Yes. <laughs> well, I can't build cars, so... I guess okay, two good. thumbs up. Okay. I mean... Foggy comes up. Oh, thank you. If Foggy comes up, more than 100 for no, comes up. 100 is more. How, I can't count to 100 from one. All right, let off. Are you going to go fast? Uh-huh. You are? I'm going to go. How fast? 100 fast? Yes. Wow. Tell me your experience. I don't know. I just went around and around. I just fell off the camera. Okay, Thumbs I'm up. I'm about to take Whoop. the camera Pause. so I can nope. run. Back up. Back up three steps. All right, and look at me. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Uh, I feel like both. How about like 100? Thumbs up for 2,000. You think Daddy did the best job ever? Yeah. That thing is fast. I want to go video. Come on. I'm going to chase them. This is the gas. This is the brake, okay? So, when you push the gas, you go. Okay? Now, if you want to stop, push it right here. Push that. Push this one. Push it. Slam it. Good. Okay. So, go ahead. Yep. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Alright, watch where you're going. All right, so that's another build completed on the build channel. If you're just seeing this video, this is the first one that you've seen. I have a five part series on this. It's all very well edited. It's all very concise. It's an easy watch. So I'll link that up in the top. You can catch up on this whole build and how we turn this from a Power Wheels into what it is today. Now, it's no secret if you are a follower of the channel that I bought way too many projects last year and we're getting rid of them. So you'll notice my scheduling, my, my post scheduling has changed a little bit and it's just because I want to get rid of some stuff so I can work on the things I actually want to work on. So this is one of them. It's, it's done. The Mercedes, you guys noticed we finished that as well. We've got another project that we've finished, but we've got to get it tuned. So we'll get that tuned and get that video out. Um, and all of that's just a goal to get all this stuff done. I learned my lesson. I haven't bought any new cars in a very long time and we're going to keep it that way. Um, but we will be getting back to kind of regular scheduled programming. I just want to finish some stuff. So you can expect some more videos of builds being finished in the coming weeks. And then we'll get back into the stuff that uh, we really want to be building and the stuff that you guys really want to see. Although I do hope that you love this because I do love this thing. We rode it till we ran out of gas yesterday and uh, we'll be riding it again today. And it's just awesome. I'm just so happy with this thing. And I learned a lot for builds in the future what we can do with suspension and tubing and all that other cool stuff all right i think that's it thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you in the next one whoa how do you pick what car you want it to be i have a remote control where is it in the car in my car that's nope daddy's car my porsche i'll be right back okay